the golfers didn't like so much the formalin malachite green treatment. This uh, increased slime all over the body, mostly by the gills. The wound, the healing wound, the fresh skin on the wounded one is, has turned red, irritated by the formalin, I'm pretty sure. All three of them came out and are swimming in the time of the day when, when they usually are hidden and uh, tucked in between the rocks. As if looking for a way out, I just saw this guy swimming around looking for a way out. So they're, they're pretty unhappy. I just turned on the, the water. This is, this is, by the way, an overnight after I uh, added the medication. So I upped the, the water flow, water change, so in about an hour or so. The water should be getting better and better for them. This is, by the way, 18 hours after I added the medication. It does kick back the beneficial bacteria. That's why the cloudiness as a visual sign of uh, cycling. So the, ba the tanks are back cycling again after having been kicked back by the medication. Uh, what can I tell you? Everybody seems to be fine in terms of not being badly affected by the medication except the gulpers. The red tail catfish came out, the Lyria came out, everybody came out and behaved a little bit different from prior days, so I think they're feeling some kind of a change, and I hope it's better for the better. But it's way too early to, to say. Nobody seems to be particularly stressed in this tank either. In 1800 everybody seems to be fine. At least superficially I don't see anybody depressed or showing problems. There's a lesion on that tin foil as I showed you yesterday. Still there. The Pteradoras decided to swim in the flow, so that's something unusual. The big guy. So he's feeling some of it. The other big guy is still on the bottom in its usual spot. I really don't like the way this lesion looks. I might have to take it out and treat it separately. The starry night has never been here. It's placed on the other side of the tank. The four line. Everybody seems to be fine here too. The last striped bass is doing okay, sitting there in the corner. These guys are doing alright. I noticed yesterday our gir giraffe catfish from Volta, the female. She's lost a lot of weight, I haven't seen her in a while. She hasn't been feeding apparently. Not much anyway. And she has been under something, that's for sure. But she survived and looked even slightly better this morning, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen after that. That seventh stripe has some kind of white markings on it. It has had it, has had it before the treatment, so that was also my concern. This guy.
water is also a little cloudy. That's again from the medication. From the for formaldehyde or formalin. Killing some of the beneficial bacteria. Which leads to mild recycling. We have a very large margin of safety in terms of filtration. So I usually don't I don't worry about these things. Where you, when everything goes fine and it usually does, we're way over filtered, so uh, I have good reserves of the bacteria I believe. I will measure the water still just to make sure, but any time in the past when as I said I do this almost yearly, sometimes twice a year, sometimes once in two years. And I never seen ammonia or nitrite as a result of this moderate uncycling. the volt is. I'm trying to find it, find her. She was here this morning. It's hard to see a dark fish on black liner. But she's usually hiding in the rocks somewhere because she's the smallest giraffe nose catfish or giraffe catfish in this tank. She didn't have any damage on her either, not like she was bothered or beaten or attacked, just very thin. I mean for her, not deathly thin but quite thin. I can, I can see that she hasn't fed in a while and swimming around. Oh there she is right there. Swimming around a little wobbly. Well, she, should, she shouldn't uh, be swimming like that in the open too much. So I hope that maybe by luck this treatment that I'm giving will help her get back to being healthy again. You see how she's curved, a little crescent in shape very flat tummy no bulk at all which is unusual for giraffe catfish because they're bulky fish they love their food anyhow so we seem to be okay here at least for the moment you can still see the green, greenishness in the in the water. That's because the water is cold and it takes a while for malachite green to disappear. But I'm pretty sure the formaldehyde must have been gone, long gone, as it 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 is a very reactive chemical that reacts with many other chemicals in aquarium. Okay, in these tanks everything seems to be okay, normal. The glass catfish are fine, they look fine anyway. The banded Chinese loaches are fine. The Arapima hungry, which is good. All these guys are okay. Sharky, okay. The decorus seem to be fine, the Sanadontis decorus, Rhino Pleco, Jalo, Thug, the little 
guys. I don't see any distress or reddening or unusual behavior, so that that should be okay. The peacocks, the little little jello. The peacocks, all of their hole in the head have healed up. More or less, the arena still might have something around the nostrils. But the azul healed up. The uh, jaguar secret healed up. And the same for the Lando, the Midas over there. These guys are okay, obviously. Very hungry as usual. So as I said, only only the gulper are showing distress, which is not too surprising. They're sensitive, more sensitive fish, less hardy than others. And I'm changing the water right now, so they should get some relief in significant relief in about half a day for sure. Probably in about half a day, I will. I will have changed 50% of their total uh, thousand gallons of of the tank water and the sump water because I upped the water because I upped the water flow in the sump. That's why the cloudiness that this tank was just clear before I upped the water. Everybody seems to be okay here. Tilapia still has those white tufts or white spots by the tail. So that's a little update on uh, on how we're doing 18 hours after the addition of the medication. Apart from the gulpers, I have nobody to worry about at the moment. This is the female volta that's not been eating 